welcome to analog communication lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain need of modulation so basically when we work out with communication system it is very compulsory to have modulation process in communication so ultimately in this session i'll be explaining necessity of modulation so before i explain what is the necessity of modulation let us try to understand first of all what is modulation so modulation is a process of modification of carrier signal with respect to modulating signal and that modulating signal is message signal so first of all why we do modulation so usually when we see modulating signal or we can say message signal so that message signal or modulating signal that will be low frequency signal now when we talk about low frequency signal it is very difficult to send low frequency signal to very large distance so ultimately it is compulsory to translate that low frequency signal into high frequency signal and that's why we do modulation where we change properties of carrier signal with respect to modulating signal in modulation so ultimately we will be changing property of carrier signal with respect to modulating signal in modulation process and we will be sending that signal in communication system so there are few things which is so essential to understand which explains you it is very compulsory to have modulation process in communication system and first thing that is height of antenna now let us try to understand why height of antenna that is been justified by modulation process so if we say i have modulating signal and that signal is a voice signal now when we see voice signal frequency range so that is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz for simple understanding like my voice signal what will be the frequency of that my voice signal so that will be somewhere around 3 kilohertz so if i say my signal modulating signal that is having frequency 3 kilohertz so based on that if we calculate wavelength the lambda that is c by f c is velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and frequency of message signal that is 3 kilohertz so if i place it over here 3 kilo means 10 to the power 3 so this will be 10 to the power 5 meter so we can say this is 100 kilometer now when we send signal by antenna usually size of antenna that is somewhat around lambda by 4 so length of antenna that is lambda by 4 so for this modulating signal we need to have antenna of length lambda by 4 here lambda that is 100 km so that will be 25 km so it is next to impossible practically practically you cannot have size of antenna of length of 25 km so without modulation you cannot send this modulating signal by antenna so what we need to do we need to do modulation and in modulation if i choose frequency in terms of megahertz or gigahertz i will be able to reduce length of antenna let, let us consider one case for example if i say i have carrier signal that is of 1 gigahertz so in that case now new wavelength that will be lambda is equals to c by f where c is velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 and frequency that we have considered with carrier signal is 1 gigahertz so that will be 3 1 into 
10 to the power 9. So that will be 0 0.3 meter. So now new length of antenna, new length of antenna. Now that will be, you can see it is lambda by 4. So that will be 0 0.3 divided by 4. So now this is what somewhat manageable that we can say it is 0 0.0. 75 meter in terms of centimeter it will be 7.5 centimeter so now same information that could be transmitted by antenna size 7.5 centimeter so ultimately by modulating modulation process we translate information in high frequency and that leads to advantage of reduction in size of antenna so this is one basic advantage which is there with modulation process. <clears throat> now this modulation process that even affects to radiated power by antenna. Now when we talk about radiated power so that is proportional to 1 by lambda square. Now if you see for modulating signal with low frequency information wavelength is very high like you can see it is in terms of hundreds of kilometer and after modulation now new wavelength that is 0 0.3 meter for the case of carrier signal of 1 gigahertz so what happens is as you go for high frequency wavelength will decrease and as wavelength decreases radiated power increases by this proportion 1 by lambda square. So this is very important advantage that is what we increase radiated power of antenna by lowering wavelength and that is what we can achieve by having modulation process. So this is what very important advantage that is there with modulation process. Now one more advantage that is multiplexing. Now see for example if I say there are three people those who are sending voice signal. Now voice signal frequency let us say one person, second person and third person. Now all these three person are sending signal with similar frequency almost identical frequency range. Let us say three kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. So all are sending signal with similar frequency. So as if we send signal with similar frequency, these signals of three different people will interfere to each other. So when we send that signal in channel, all signal will interfere to each other and that will be generating noise to each other. So it is almost next to impossible to extract original signal. So by modulating process, we can be able to translate that in some other frequency and we can have multiplexing. Like see now what we can do is we can choose carrier signal let us say FC1 and that is having 10.1 gigahertz. For second signal, if we choose frequency FC2 that is 10.2 gigahertz. And for third signal, if we choose frequency that is 10.3 gigahertz. So in this case, now this three signal will not interfere to each other where it was interfering in previous case. So this is what the process of multiplexing. This is what we can say it is frequency division multiplexing. So there are so many different techniques of multiplexing like FDM, frequency division multiplexing, TDM, time division multiplexing, CDMA, code division multiplexing. So there are various multiple access techniques where we do modulation process 
and by which we can reduce interference of signal to each other as well as we can enhance channel capacity so that is even very important advantage which is there with process of modulation now next advantage is high bandwidth now when we talk about high bandwidth we can see modulating signal that is low frequency signal for voice signal frequency bandwidth that is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz now this frequency bandwidth is very narrow but if you do modulation process you can translate that message signal into high frequency signal so there will be very wide bandwidth which will be available to you so voice signal even can be translated into high frequency and then we can send it by modulation process with high bandwidth so as we can see nowadays we all are using mobile phones and in mobile phones everybody is talking with voice signal and frequency range is almost identical but still by high bandwidth available by multiplexing by high bandwidth we can combine so many signals together and still we can talk to each other so that is due to modulation process and last one that is narrow bending of signal now what happens usually if you see curvature of earth that is somewhat this and as if I send signal from antenna then what happens is for low frequency signal that signal is getting banned with respect to our surface and that happens at low frequency signal so low frequency signal band more with respect to earth but when you send signal at high frequency then bending will be less so now if you send signal with high frequency bending will be less so you will be finding it is going line of sight so that is what one major advantage that is there with modulation ultimately main agenda of modulation is to translate message signal in high frequency signal so that these are the various advantages which we can achieve so by modulation process we can reduce length of antenna we can increase radiated power by antenna we can provide multiplexing we will be having available of availability of high bandwidth and narrow bending of signal so that is what leading use of modulation with broad applications thank you so much for watching this video you can suggest me those videos which is required to complete communication engineering here i'll be making videos based on communication engineering to help out students those who are studying analog communication so in future you'll be finding different subjects regarding communication and you can suggest me those videos even which is required to complete communication engineering thank you so much for watching this video